All right guys, so this is gonna be a quick video and I wanna test out two products, which is the reason why I have blue tape um, stuck across the top of my trunk on my Miata. But on this side, we're gonna put on Beadmaker, which I tested out a while ago. And on this side, we're gonna try out Adam's Ceramic Boost, if I can get that in focus. So first up, we're gonna try out Adam's Ceramic Boost. This is the 1.0, by the way. don't really need to spray that much but and I tried to cover up this side so it doesn't spill over to the other side but here we go and also keep in mind that yes it is very streaky this is the surrounding boots 1.0 it's not the 2.0 which is their revised version and the problem they have with the 1.0 is as you can see there are a lot of streaks First off, the, the 1.0 ceramic boost is just a pain to work with. Those streaks are just a pain in the butt. And next, let's get a new towel and let's try a PNS bead maker. So right off the bat, I will tell you the PNS bead maker goes on a lot smoother. Not only that, once you towel everything off, you can just feel it start to get a lot smoother. Yeah, definitely a lot smoother with the bead maker. All right, so I'm gonna let the two products cure for a little bit and we're gonna do a quick old water test. Not only that, it's gonna rain later on tonight, so let's see how the natural rain affects both of the products. Wow, there's a difference between the two. This is rather interesting. So with the Atom Ceramic Boost, you can clearly see where the tape line was. And uh, on the Atom side, uh, the gloss just looks deeper and say more darker. Let me just try to even it out and try to wipe it out. I'm not sure how well you can see this on camera, but definitely a, a deeper gloss with the Atom Ceramic Boost. Okay, so now we've given the products both time to cure. Let's give it the good old water test. Interesting. So it looks like on the Atoms, the water heats off a lot faster than on the bead maker. So you're seeing it firsthand, just like I am right now. There you go. Let's try a different setting on the hose. And one more test. Let's see if we can get those beads to pop out. Okay, not so bad on that part. Wow, you can clearly see the line. So I tried out the Ceramic Boost versus the Bead Maker, and I have Ceramic Boost on the right and Bead Maker on the left. So you can clearly see the line of as far as the beading uh, properties on each one. So let me know which one do you guys think is better. So once again, Ceramic Boost on the right, uh, Bead Maker on the left. All right, guys, so there you go. You guys saw both products go head to head. Let me know in the comments what you guys think as far as which one performed better in the comments below. I'm eager to hear what you guys thought of the test. But as far as what I can tell, the Ceramic Boost, which is the 1.0, not the 2.0, uh, leaves a lot of streaks, although the performance is absolutely amazing. Uh, the bead maker, which you saw on the left side, it went on smooth. Uh, it feels very slick under the towel. But as you can see, the sheeting action wasn't as fast as the Ceramic Boost. But like 
I said, let me know in the comments below exactly what you guys think. Which one do you think is better? Keep in mind the ceramic boost is a lot more expensive than the bead maker. I think the ceramic boost is about $24.99 and the bead maker I think is $17.99. So take that into account. But at the end of the day, what matters is how they perform. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your guys' support and we will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Man.